Good afternoon, sports fans. I'm John Jacob, and um, this is Mark to tell. Not to tell. I have it under control. Right. We have a Brett Favre update for you. Brett Favre again? Again, yes, again. Every day. What's he done this time? Nothing interesting. Today, he's taking a crap. Really, taking a crap? Taking a crap. Well, for more information on this, we we'll go to Joey Bernstein. Joey. The reports are true. Brett Favre has taken a shit. Wow, this is big news. Big time, big time news. We're actually thinking that because he's taking a shit, he's now considering going to a couple horrible teams, such as the Browns, the Dolphins, even those Raiders. To tell you the truth, we're actually reporting from a bathroom that was built to exactly replicate the one in Brett's house. Now, if you look, this is the exact same place. This is... An exact replica of the same one Brett has in his house. If this was in his house right now, it would be a, there'd be a turd floating around right in here. And from what I hear, it's quite impressive. The biggest one he's had in 12 and a half years. I'm not exactly sure why we know that, but we do. Um, can you hold on one second, please? I'm getting another update. Oh, apparently Brett has wiped his ass. With this toilet paper right here, well not this toilet paper, but the same type of toilet paper right here. Keeps the same type in his house in his house. It's actually very soft. That's by wiping his ass, we're actually starting to think that ooh. Another update, he has flushed the toilet. That's quite impressive. I'm starting to now wonder if those dolphins, the Browns, and even the Raiders are now out of the question. We'll see. I'm Joey Bernstein, if I were you, watch out for the Jets, the Vikings, and the Buccaneers. Back to you. Thanks for the report, Joey. Wow, you see how clean that bathroom was? Yeah, that was amazing. You don't get clean toilets like that in Connecticut. Yeah, hey, you know where you get them? Where? L.A. Oh, yeah. Talking about L.A., we have our other correspondent, Peter Pan, on something about Manny being known. All right, over to you, Peter. Yes, thanks, Ahmed. We just got in that Los Angeles Dodger outfielder, Manny Ramirez, has just robbed a bank and is on a high-speed chase. We'll have more of that story later on. As for the LA Dodgers, their statement says that Manny is just being Manny. Peter Pan, Los Angeles. Back to you, Ahmed. Man, that is really Manny being Manny. Do you think there. the LA lights have changed him? I don't know. That's a little more vicious right there. Yeah. Alright, I hear you have another update on this? Yeah. The USA basketball team just shellacked another team. Oh, 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 sorry, can you hold on? Apparently we have another update on the Brett Favre situation. Back to Joey. Brett Favre has been traded to the New York Jets. The Jets have agreed to trade a conditional draft pick over to the Packers. Now that means that the pick will get higher and higher based on how well Brett does. And if he goes to the Super Bowl, which he's Brett Favre, so we all know he will, the Packers will receive a first-round pick. Originally, we actually thought that the Packers were going to get a second-round pick and a bag of Skittles, but not sure where that fell through. All right, so we actually have a source that interviewed Chad Pennington. He was told of the situation, told he was probably going to get cut. He responded by falling on the ground, crying and yelling, son of a bitch. I'm Joey Bernstein, signing off. Back to you guys. I feel bad for Chad Pennington. Really? Why? He's not Brett Favre. That's a point. But now that Brett Favre's on the team, what are we doing now? That's a good point. What are we going to talk about? Oh, no. I got to find out. Yeah. He's gone. He's really gone. <laughs> That's a problem. Well... Uh, this has been your sports update. Back to the World Series of Dominoes in Cuba. There you go.